All right, what's up, everybody? In this video, we're going to be um, comparing farm setups. I, like so many other people, um, you know, use the traditional ceiling lamp um, for growing my crops and my greenhouses. But uh, it was yesterday I had a comment on um, one of the videos where um, a viewer was making mention to how they preferred using lamps and that they work a lot better. So I had never thought to do this, so I figured, hey, this could be a perfect opportunity to uh, to check this out and see, you know, just what the difference is um, for using a lamp for growing versus using a ceiling light. So for this test, we're going to load into my blank lab map, and our focus is going to be um, pretty simple. We're going to be looking at how much power is consumed, what type of um, heat we're creating, and how many plants we can actually get under a lamp versus a ceiling light. And then, you know, this will, you know, let us kind of form an opinion on the efficiency of uh, both different ways. So I'm going to go ahead and put something really quick together here, and then we will uh, get looking at the numbers. Wow, I got 20 on this side and 19 on this side just by eyeballing it. I'm very impressed with myself. So for our um, standard ceiling light side, we're actually going to make the room um, four tiles high just because that's normal. Well, let me go ahead and adjust this for the sake of the experiment. And another thing to be fair is that we kind of want to put, I should put the farm tiles on the bottom row um, rather because then we allow ourselves to have the light shining a little bit further down, which is going to allow us to use less lights. Now, what I'm going to do after is we'll recreate this um, farm section, but we'll try it with the raised ceilings because as I'm looking at this, I recall um, times when I've created my greenhouses with raised ceilings to allow the light to um, shine further down, right? Because if you put it here, let's say we're getting three on um, both sides, so three lit, lit tiles because you only have to cast light just on the top one here on the top tile so we get three on each but then if you go up more it's just growing and growing so we will um we will compare that but we're going to maintain that the room size has to meet the requirements for a greenhouse um which i should have probably taken it into consideration already so we know that the greenhouse is 96 96 divided by four would be 24 we said that i had 20 tiles so we need to make some adjustments now if you're wondering why i didn't go ahead and just put the farm tiles down right away it's because i believe that for the lamp section we're going to have to do some jimmy rigging um regarding the lamp height placement um in order to cast the light differently so i'm just gonna hold off for a second before i do that one so for these ceiling lights, we're going to be doing um, three spaces in between per light. So it'll be three from the wall and then six from the next light. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we will repeat that. And then we end up one, two, three, with kind of an awkward amount at the end here. So I believe this is as good as this gets for the most part. Um, we could space them a little bit differently so that it looked nicer, but this is four lights um, for the 96 room size. The other thing we have to take into consideration is that the greenhouse actually needs to have the farming station inside of it. Um, so we may not need all these lights to take into consideration that we won't have full farm tiles everywhere well we still do for this one spot so one light for one plant is it really worth it i'll let you be the judge of that but i will put it in regardless just for the sake of the experiment now for the other side we know we're gonna need another greenhouse so we'll plop down a farming station and so here we see that if we put a uh, a lamp down we're getting the same three on the left and the right hand side of the lamp. Um, but I'm assuming the question here is actually the fact that there's a four spot. So in order to get the four spot, the lamp has to get dropped down 
one level. Now, in order to do that, we would also have to change the size of the room or the shape, I'm guessing, in to accommodate because if we open up this tile, um, we will be invert making the, the room larger. So we need to go here, but down one. Actually, let's just place them out first. So that would go there. So we would now have the ability to have eight in between. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, plus one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll just have to put that over there somewhere. And then we would need to drop it down a tile. Then we'll drop those in here. But now our room size has become 99. That shouldn't really matter because um, we only need two tiles for the plant. So technically we can actually drop we can drop the whole room down a level now we can't drop it too far because this has to sit in here but we can definitely drop it one entire level if we want so that works so you could in theory fit more of them right the other my other concern is that you know i'm really big about symmetry <laughs> so <laughs> this would drive me nuts but um i might be able to get past it or I would just leave, you know, the, the the next row and then just maybe drop one tile down here. Um, happen over here. Did everything overheat? Oh, yes, because we're in a vacuum. I guess the other thing that's good is this light would help with the, uh, the operation speed of the station because it would be considered um, well lit. So now let's go ahead and add our plants over here. Double check that our room is good. So this room size is 75 and this one is still 96. Since this room is smaller, I'm wondering if we could actually make it longer because we can technically add more to it. As it sits right now, we should have, I think, 22 here. Okay, so that's 22. And this side we have 19 um, because we have the three, right? So it would be 20, 21, 22. So because the lamps take up a floor tile themselves, um, we lose some growth. Now, as this sits, obviously there's more lights in this side than this side. The lamps require, um, eight Watts opposed to the ceiling lights that require 10 Watts. Um, but they're both producing the same amount of heat. So we don't have to worry about that. Also, the lamps actually produce a little bit less um, brightness, 1000 lux versus the 1800. Now, that's not going to be a big deal. Um, generally speaking, 1000 lux will be good enough to grow most things. So I won't focus too much on that. So I guess the next question is, if we make this room bigger, do we get our space back, which I'm sure we will. All right, so the room is now 96 tiles perfectly. We will add this. Let's have a look at our light situation. And we said those go eight tiles in between. So four, place it on the ninth. So how many plants do we have now? So we have 25 plants now. So we know that there's four lamps here. We have four lamps here. Both the stations will be receiving the well um, lit buff, a reduced power consumption of two, four, six, eight. So not quite a full light's worth, but pretty close. So in summary, we have eight watts of saved power using the lamps. We're saving a layer of space because the room is shorter and we are increasing the amount of um, plants that we can do by three. So from what I can tell, using the lamps is more efficient. For experimental purposes, I'm going to try to adjust the height on these to see how many plants you could fit if the ceiling was higher. So at the maximum amount of height, we're getting one, two, three, four, five on each side. Am I counting that right? One, two, three, four, five, I believe so. Somewhere around there. So let's say we counted 10, put it on the 11th tile. Now, curious, what size is that? It's already 119 tiles. So if you weren't concerned about having the um, the greenhouse buff, you know, you could make the ceilings bigger and you could really get a lot more growth 
for your, you know, your heat and your power, um, you know, strictly because they can spread so much further. It's an extra uh, two tiles on each side. So my last thing that I'm thinking here is, would there ever be a point where if you didn't use the greenhouse room um, for the buff of the fertilizer, could you compensate by having a weird looking room that you actually, but because you can put the ceiling lights up so high, you're getting such a large um, growth space that the amount of food that you can produce in this weird looking shape is more valuable than the amount you would produce from the buff off of the farming station. I'm just trying to think of how I could calculate that. Farming station, I think, doubles your output for one cycle. So each plant becomes worth basically two plants for one cycle if it's been fertilized. Farmer's touch so is what we get it's 100 percent growth speed for one cycle yeah so each one becomes worth two basically so in order to have a weird shaped room that would give you the equivalent you would have to in essence have double the amount of plants let's do this max height build but let's use the four lights since we have four lights consistently on everything so far, but we won't limit the room size. We will just build it out and then we will count to see how much more we get versus the room with the farming station. I believe it was 11 each, right? So there's 10 between, so we place on the 11 and then we keep five on the side. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we said we had 22 in this one. So we would need, I'm guessing 44 here. I don't think we have 44. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So it's actually the same, except it just takes up a crap ton more room. So I would argue that this actually wins because this station, um, no power requirement to it, but it just requires fertilizer. It requires a skilled colonist or dupe um to basically be out here um every day right because it, the buff only lasts for one day or one cycle right the where is it the farmer's touch duration one cycle so you need a dupe every day you know to come out here and and spend fertilizer and do the work constantly and he has to be a skilled dupe so with this way you would get the same amount, but you don't need the fertilizer and you don't need the, uh, the dupe labor or the skilled dupe. It would also be slower to heat in theory because the lamps are spread out more, less of a congested kind of like heat box. Now, could I recreate this using this lamp? I would only get four on each side. So this, the lamp would kind of go out the window for the big one. So I honestly, I think we have a winner. And guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is uh, a very interesting, um, interesting to see. I would say that this traditional way would be the worst. This way would be better than the traditional way. And then uh, this ginormous room that's not even a greenhouse, same food output minus uh, the materials and the dupe labor. I mean, it's a lot bigger, but you know, at the end of the day, who cares? We've got the whole asteroid to work with, generally speaking, you know? Um, so, you know, I don't think, what what would you really be dealing with? Cooling and oxygen. I'm assuming that anybody that would be building something this big would have some sort of efficient spawn set up. So oxygen shouldn't be an issue. Um, and then cooling. And then from a, uh, a cooking perspective, how many dupes would this sustain using, let's say, uh, bristleberry is always a good um, default that I use. We have 44, so um, gristleberry, I believe it's three. It would be three, three plants per dupe. So if it is three and my memory serves correctly, that would be 14 and a half dupes, so 14 dupes um, sustained off of this. That's really cool to know. Um, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know uh, 
if there was a variable that I didn't think of, let me know if maybe I messed up on my math somewhere, but I think we've got pretty um, clear winner. And thank you so much to, uh, to uh, the viewer who sent me the comment that got me thinking about this to begin with, because I learned something new today. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.